we don't want Golden State or Memphis to get this eighth seed. We want this eighth seed. Even if it's to go up against Utah, which I don't want, um, let's do it. Let's rock and roll, man. Let's get this playoff um this playoff berth, man. Let's have two more home games in the AT&T Center, right? Let's let's try to be that um Golden State versus Dallas te- series right back, you know, the the we believe team, right? Like it's not impossible. <laughs> it's not impossible for us to do something special. And we have a special player. We have a couple special guys on our team, but DeMar DeRozan's that guy. You know, I heard um yesterday on Grind City Media on on the Chris Vernon show Chris Ver- Chris Vernon was talking to an NBA writer. I forget the name, but he was really high on on Utah. He's really high on Gobert, and Chris Vernon is not right. Rudy Gobert, and um, the one thing that the ESPN writer said that the only th- the only thing he sees kind of hurting the Utah Jazz is that they don't have that closing guy, that go to guy, right? Not even Donovan Mitchell is really that guy right now. They rely a lot on hitting threes. So we all know how that goes, right? <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but Utah is the, is like doing like, is making history right now with their efficiency and how many threes they're shooting and making per game. They're like even doing better than the Houston Rockets did back when James Harden and D'Antoni were there, right? So Utah is doing something extremely special in that regard. But what do we know? What do we know, Spurs Nation, that when you go into the playoffs, it doesn't matter, how many threes you made or attempted during the regular season does not matter. What matters is def- defense, bro. In in a seven game series, how many times did Houston beat us in a seven game series? How many times did Phoenix beat us in a seven game series? Dan Tony's, you know, run and gun and shoot a lot of threes and all that stuff. Why did it stop working in the playoffs? Because the game slows down. It becomes about strategic matchups, defensive um, strategy, and being able to take away your first or second best option. And, you know, in that sense, in this matchup with us in Utah, I mean, if we can take away their three ball, they're just as good as us. Like straight up, Jakob's just as good of a defender. I mean, a little bit below, you know, of course, Rudy, a couple, maybe a couple places, but Jakob would need to play big. DeMar DeRozan would just need to go to work and everyone else has to step up. But what we have to do is take away the three ball. And we do do that. That's what I'm saying, guys. We kind of do. We I mean, yes, we, we did the, all that. What I'm talking about before um, during the big three era and during the Kawhi era and all that stuff. That's when we were beating the crap out of Dan Tony and that system particularly. Right. Um, in the playoffs. Right. So. I kind of like our chances going up against Utah. If the game can be um, slowed down and we can take away some of their three balls um, and maybe us hit a few and dude, we have the best, we might have the best player in the series. Would you put DeMar DeRozan over Donovan Mitchell and over Rudy Gobert? I would. Bogdan Bogdanovich is probably the second best player in my eyes. And then maybe you put Donovan Mitchell. I don't know Donovan Mitchell. Was he an all-star? I don't know. He might've been an all-star, but I don't, I don't really think. He's DeMar level, dude. DeMar got snubbed, right? We all know DeMar got snubbed for, from the All-Star game. Mike Conley ended up getting that spot. Mike Conley, bro, we'll put the clamps on those dudes, bro. We'll put we'll put KJ, we'll put uh, DeJounte on those guys. If we can slow the game down, which it does get slowed down in the playoffs, we're not, I don't think we should go into that series just thinking we're going to get knocked out. I think we might win a couple games. Now, like I said, If we have the remedy, if we have the antidote to what what the Utah Jazz have been doing this season, then we might be all right. We might even get to the second round and see what's up. And then maybe, just maybe, Derek White comes back in that time, right? Derek White hopefully maybe makes some type of late insurance if we can get to that point. And then he kind of comes off the bench at that thing. I don't think we change anything at that point. But if we can, then great. If we can get Derek White back, like in during the during the first round of the playoffs, well then, hey, we might we might be lining up to do something special this year. We gotta believe Spurs Nation. Now all that, yeah, it's far fetched and whatever, but it can happen. It can happen, right? So um, first, we gotta take care of this playing game, and once we find out who we're gonna play, we can start game planning for that. Either Memphis or or Golden State. I I really don't see the the Lakers losing 
that first game if LeBron plays. Now, if LeBron doesn't play in that playing game, that 7-8 game, and they have to play one more game, then maybe, <laughs> maybe the Lakers um, are capable. We're, I don't know if we're, I honestly don't know if we're good enough to take on the Lakers and those matchups kind of, they scare me a little bit, the the AD factor and, and all that stuff. But you never know. You never know. Just depends how good we're playing at the moment. That's really all that matters. You know, we can worry about everyone else when we're talking about game planning, but realistically, we got to look ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves, how good are we? Are we good enough to, you know, get past this this play in and get to the eighth seed? Now, if you were to ask me, on our on our good nights, we are. But on our bad nights, if I'm being real, we're bad, right? We've proven to be bad. Like we can, we can be great, you know, on this end of the spectrum. But I think the norm is somewhere in the middle, us not being all that great. Because what happens is that everyone has to be clicking. You know, everyone has to be clicking for us to be good. 